Saint Isidore of Seville was one of the greatest doctors of late antiquity. He served as the Archbishop of Seville, attended several councils, and helped convert the Visigothic King of Spain to Catholic Christianity. Throughout his life, he was an avid scholar of the classical world and a prolific writer. By the time of his death in AD 636, he had written numerous books covering a wide range of topics, such as history, astronomy, and theology. His writings would later go on to have a profound impact on medieval thinking. St. Isidore's most influential work is Etymology, which is an etymological encyclopedia and one of the first summas of universal knowledge. Etymology is comprised of 20 books that contain knowledge primarily drawn from the classics. Its sources include authors such as St. Augustine, St. Jerome, Aristotle, Plato, and Cato. Etymology's first three books deal with the seven liberal arts which are composed of the trivium and the quadrivium. The trivium is made up of three disciplines, grammar, logic, and rhetoric. The quadrivium is made up of four disciplines, arithmetic, geometry, astronomy, and music. The seven disciplines that make up the trivium and the quadrivium were called the liberal arts because they were considered essential for a free person to know in order to actively participate in civic life. The fourth book is about medicine. It includes information about the four humors, black bile, bile, blood, and phlegm. The book briefly outlines diseases, remedies, and medical instruments. It also discusses the three schools of medicine, empirical, logical, and methodical. Book five is about law and chronology. On the subject of law, St. Isidore discusses the differences between natural, civil, international, military, and public law. Regarding chronology, St. Isidore covers periods of time such as days, weeks, months, as well as solstices, equinoxes, seasons, and special years. The next several books discuss theological topics such as God, angels, and saints, as well as the Roman Catholic Church and non-Christian sects. On the topic of God, St. Isidore explains the Trinity as well as the qualities and names of God. Regarding non-Christian sects, St. Isidore mentions figures such as Zoroaster, Plato, and Donatus. However, St. Isidore's most noteworthy contemporary, Muhammad, is not mentioned at all. Perhaps this is because Muhammad and his followers did not become well known until several decades after Etymology was written. The ninth book discusses languages, peoples, kingdoms, armies, cities, and titles. It outlines in detail the nations that sprang from the three sons of Noah after the fall of Babel. It explains that Ham's descendants migrated to the continent of Africa. Japheth's descendants largely fled to Europe. However, Shem's descendants mostly stayed in the Middle East. Book 10 is about vocabulary. It provides a word list of adjectives and nouns with their etymological origin. The word list is arranged in alphabetical order and looks similar to a modern dictionary. The 11th book delves into topics such as mankind, portents, and transformations. St. Isidore describes the ages of human beings and the many parts of the human body, including the soul. He also discusses strange phenomena and creatures such as metamorphoses, satyrs, and sirens. Books 12 through 14 are about the natural world. They discuss topics such as animals, atoms, natural phenomena, and geography. On the subject of geography, St. Isidore describes the world as being circular and composed of three continents, Europe, Asia, and Africa, with a great ocean that surrounds them. The 15th book is about buildings and fields. It discusses the cities of the ancient world and who founded them. It also describes different kinds of buildings, such as lighthouses, monasteries, and fortifications. The agricultural section of the book discusses various kinds of fields and rural infrastructure. The next book covers rocks and metals. St. Isidore starts off 
by explaining dust, dirt, and other earthly materials. He then moves on to talk about the various kinds of stones, gems, and glass. In the second half of the book, St. Isidore discusses the various kinds of metals, such as gold, silver, bronze, tin, and electrum. Books 17 through 20 are about the human civilization. They delve into topics such as agriculture, ships, tools, food, war, and jurisprudence. Throughout the medieval period, Etymology was the most widely used textbook. In fact, Etymology was so widely used that it often replaced individual works of the classics themselves, many of which were no longer copied and therefore lost as a consequence. No work other than the Holy Bible was as influential on medieval thinking as Etymology.